welcome everyone. As you know, I am Lucker Larson. And tonight we will be talking with Drace AI, a moderator at 24 7 Flat Earth Discord. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Lucker. Happy to be here. I know Flat Earth was the most searched topic on Google before the censorship began in early 2017, which got dubbed as the ad apocalypse. Subsequent censorship has only gotten worse for you guys, right? Yes, you are right, Lucker. Through flagging, shadow bunning, and blatant misrepresentations, they have managed, for the most part, to control public perception, effectively using the poo-poo fallacy after multiple straw man fallacies. Who are they? <laughs> the, the globe believers. Belief is a hell of a drug, Locker. Biases and personal investment go a long way to maintain a delusion. To make a long story short, it's the lack of critical thinking and absence of the use of logic. They, like I was, were indoctrinated as children, and we built our whole worldview on this. Naturally, it's hard to give that up. The sunk cost is too much to even consider for some. Now, trying to look this up, I mostly find people speaking against Flat Earth or something called the Flat Earth Society. Is your server associated with the Flat Earth Society? No, not at all. Uh, they get pushed to the top of the search results, and if you look at the history of Flat Earth, they have always been a mockery of real Flat Earthers. They have a flying space pizza in outer space, derived from globe imaginations. To us, we just see reality as it is. In other words, we try to cut out all the assumptions and go only by what we can verify to be true. So there's no replacement cosmology. Google and YouTube, for instance, have admitted in front of Congress that they censor Flat Earth, and with that comes pushing anti-Flat Earth content. It makes it extremely hard to find real Flat Earthers, which is why the Discord is such a good place for like-minded people to share directly the links hidden by the algorithm. Interesting. So this would be one of the few chances ordinary people get to hear your side of the story. So tell me a little about this topic. How did you get into it? Uh, yes, thanks for that opportunity. Uh, I like exploring fringe topics in science and history, so back in early 2015, the uncorrupted algorithm of YouTube sees what I like and gives me more. Being a critical thinker, I compare and contrast everything I hear. I do not auto-believe anyone, and so when Flat Earth comes across my feed, I think, what nonsense is this? I've heard some strange stuff in my time, but this takes the cake. So naturally, I check it out. It was the video, 200 Proofs by Eric DeBay. And he asks some really good questions in that video, and unlike most nonsense, is just pointing at things in real life. While I leave it thinking there are some solutions to save my globe belief, his insistence that I don't believe him and that I test the globe for myself so that I can be secure in my belief really shook me. So I sought to understand the foundations or experiments upon which my assumed solutions stood on. With the help of my friends from childhood, who now are all grown up, one an astrophysicist, the other a robotic engineer, I figured I have access to the experts who should easily be able to point at the proof that I can then send to this Dupe character and help correct his errors. Take note, I am simply playing the devil's advocate with my friends. But after listening to DeBay and a few other Flat Earthers, I roughly knew what their arguments were and what it would take to prove to them the globe. So the more I ask my friends questions individually and relay the contradictions they make between each other to each other, which mostly consisted of differences between Newtonian and Einsteinian conceptions, they started fighting like cats and dogs, calling each other dumb, and so the further it went, the worse my belief felt. And when I finally got to look at the supposed experiments and, and foundational evidence, that clearly does not give them the answers they seek. It's all assumed due to preconceived ideas, at least in, this, in the crucial parts concerning the globe. And so we have to take that on faith. And so I start pointing at the contradictions and bringing up the flat earth arguments Things get more and more heated, and after two weeks of back and forth, all hell breaks loose. He starts cursing at me and calling me names. The next day, he apologizes, and then the astrophysicist starts pleading with me. So it goes from not being able to give a coherent answer all this time to now begging me, please do not become a flat earther, half crying. He tells me he's already disowned his own mother for being a flat earther. I tell him I'm not a flat earther yet. I just don't know if I can believe in the globe anymore. 
and at that point he breaks all contact with me for a few months that was my start into all of this and i i really didn't even take it seriously until after that like it it, it, it was a it was a hard birth i don't think it's it's easy to accept for many people the, the more education you go through the more you are trained to or indoctrinated to hold this belief today i'm a full-blown flat earther though fascinating so what you are saying is that this consensus of science is an illusion but i keep hearing that flat earthers are all science deniers is that true no science is not a matter of opinion locker it's a method and so a consensus is never science it's an agreement and in this case a prevailing belief that does not mean it is true by definition, failure to adhere to the scientific method, but to call that something science, is pseudoscience. That is not to say that there is not some value in whatever is trying to snatch the credibility of actual science. Any real flat earther loves the scientific method. It is the pseudoscience that we have a problem with, or people who try to cloak themselves in the certainty of science to manipulate people and undermine real science. Claiming science proves everything, and then to protect their own asses, claiming science proves nothing, is in effect them trying to destroy science or abandoning the method and corrupting minds by getting them to accept contradictions and believing nonsense. To quote Voltaire, truly, whoever can make you believe absurdities can make you commit atrocities. If the God-given understanding of your mind does not resist the demand to believe what is impossible, then you will not resist the demand to do wrong to that God-given sense of justice in your heart. As soon as one faculty of your soul has been dominated, other faculties will follow as well. And from this derives all those crimes of religion which have overrun the world. You have to think about where science comes from, or philosophy and logic. As science was born and grew out of philosophic naturalism, it slowly lost its connection with logic. And as such, most scientism today is littered with logical fallacies, invalidating their assumed conclusions. It is just most of them are blissfully ignorant of reasoning and think that formal logical fallacies are evidence as long as it supports their worldview or beliefs. Or in other words, they believe the impossible. That is terrible. I had no idea the state of academia was that rotten. I mean, I knew it was bad with the gender studies, but to hear it's corrupted to the core is shocking. Don't get me wrong, Lucker. The academics are not a lost cause or completely without hope. The ego and sunk cost is just hard to overcome. The Creator humbles everyone, and facing the truth of Flat Earth brings the Creator to the forefront. The globe idea is just a justification for atheism, or Satanism light. They tell us as much in the Freemasonic literature, and also indirectly. Look, all the religious texts of the world are wrong. Believe us instead. Turns out they lied, and or were wrong so people need to consider their souls. So how do you know they are wrong then? You must have some explosive evidence to throw away your worldview like this. Sure, Lucker. Just like we encourage everyone else to do, we check the assumptions within the claims. They literally are still relying on the assumptions of sticks and shadows and boats going over an assumed geometric horizon to try to justify the foundation to the whole cosmos concept. We got the sizes of the planets from assuming Venus is the same size as the assumed Earth ball. It's all backwards engineered to fit the first assumption. If it does not, they throw it out as an error. This is why we end up with such things as dark matter and dark energy, because observations don't match the imagination, and they have to invent things to try to make it work. And to answer you more clearly, Lucker, we measured the waters of the Earth which would have to show the convexity of the sphere to form this imaginary space ball. Our technology currently far exceeds the times when this idea was conceived. And so today it's far easier to prove it all wrong. It's just important to ask yourself as you explore this topic, how do we know this to be true? And then checking the basis for it. The more you know, the harder you are to fool. But it's not just that, it's everywhere. People just don't notice because of the programming. It's like when a hypnotist makes himself invisible. Everyone else can still see him, but because the subject believes they cannot, they literally cannot. In much the same way, when they get results they cannot believe because of their worldview, it must be a mistake or something else that allows them to hold the same worldview. The foundation never gets checked. 
and it is mostly because NASA and the moon missions proved it, and so we just need to have faith in the Church of NASA and continue believing in the globe. So you see it like a religion then, but why would everyone at NASA lie? Pretty much yes, it's like a religion. The globe religion was born from religious fundamentalism that belonged to the secret societies. In fact, the globe was a secret doctrine of the secret societies back in antiquity. The vast majority of the general public was religious, and all of those religions had a flat worldview. And I would not characterize it as everyone at NASA is lying, it's just a select group of people. The whole organization is compartmentalized. Most of them only see images on screens, and that is not hard to manipulate. If it appears to confirm their biases, why would they question it? I see your point, but now even India has been to the moon. Did you look at that locker? It looks even worse than the original moon landings. To take that on faith is pretty foolish to me. It might feel good because it confirms the bias or the worldview, but it's the worst space propaganda I've, I've ever seen. Yeah, okay, it does look a little like a Lego spaceship, and yes, the quality is atrocious. But don't we love Elon Musk fighting for free speech? He was propped up by NASA. According to him, he would never have made it without NASA. To quote him, you know it's real because it looks so fake. To me, he's a false savior, built for people to worship. The supposed champion of free speech still shadow bans and censors us, Alex Jones and others. I like that he's putting a spotlight on some of the censorship they rolled out to cover suppressing us, but it's just a few steps back, one step forward. Now this is only speculation, but as far as I'm concerned, this flat earth card was not supposed to be used right now. The globe card was only first played after they explored the south and supposedly nuked the sky. Before that, it was a novel idea of sex cults. The majority of humanity rejected it due to the Bible and their religious beliefs contradicting it. And so as you look throughout history, you see Jesuits and Freemasons bringing this globe gospel to the world. Now, I am not a very biblically minded person, but it seems to me that an element within the church has been attempting to fulfill the prophecies of the Bible. And so the globe deception is supposed to be this great deception that is supposed to be revealed at a certain point to shock the public. Our dissemination of this information is accelerating this plan as you can see by the state of the world and its rapid descent since this information started to circulate. Most likely they will attempt a fake alien invasion or Project Bluebeam, which will culminate in the church reasserting its dominance over a one world order through a manufactured savior and accompanying revelation. They are currently in the process of merging the prior one world order on the surface in a technocratic dystopia it has already been unified through secret societies for decades. Granted, I foresee it shattering before it takes complete control and the Patsies taking the fall, such as the World Economic Forum and select billionaires, to give a veneer of legitimacy to the new governments. They will just be beholden to the churches or the church since Jesus comes on his spaceships and stops the fake aliens which are distracting from the tyrants taking over. They already are prepping the public with alien disclosures, and New Age nonsense, the Vatican liaison to the UN, for instance, for aliens. The cabal is always busy playing musical chairs. They cover for each other until they're dead. And then it's too late to do anything. But that only works for so long. It's soon time to pay the piper. Granted, that scenario is just the last resort. So potentially not something I will see within my lifetime since they will play every card possible to extend the game and keep playing until they die. So the next generation will have to deal with it. Or that is my speculation, Lucker, based on the evidence and history available. So to me, what we see on the political stage is just a big play. An interesting perspective. We see the legacy media say flat earthers are conspiracy theorists. Would you consider yourself then a conspiracy theorist? As you probably know, Lucker, the moniker was popularized by the CIA to discredit things, and that has worked to some degree, when in reality there is nothing wrong with considering possibilities. If you have a working brain, you are classed as a conspiracy theorist, and as such you can theorize based on the evidence that people do conspire. Some people conspiring is not a new thing. 
While I wear this title, I do not auto-accept any theory about a conspiracy. I consider every option, and I go where the evidence leads me, Lucker. So what do you think about Donald Trump? No one is perfect. I do like things about Trump. He's being cast as a martyr, and so will be another savior figure to draw attention th from things that really matter. And so you get one step forward with him, and then the next guy will step you two steps back or more, or like with Biden, sprinting backwards. One step won't cut it now, Trump. And based on his mediocre performance last time, the swamp undrained. I like Vivek a little bit more, younger, more on point. But I have hope for the Donald in America, so I still think Vivek works better as vice president this time around. You need fresh blood, but like Trump's first term, he's untested and it takes just a malicious advisor to mess either of them up presuming they're not both corrupt already, so I would rather have both rather than one of the two, and none is unacceptable, and I, I would even argue that I would like to see you in there, Lucker, and like have you in, in the government, because we need good voices to tell the truth. But my solution to all of this is just simple. Stop glorifying these people. They're supposed to be frickin' civil servants. They should be under extreme scrutiny and be on minimum wage, living in the same kind of housing as the poorest citizen. That way they actually have incentives to try to make things better. They would build houses for, for the homeless in no time. They should not be career leeches who contribute nothing to society. They act like their primary job now is to get lobbied by corporations and foreign entities through non-profit money laundering schemes, or in other words, make oodles of money. So the public suffers while they live like kings. We are ruled by despots and liars. They are essentially trying to be royalty and treating the public like peasants. I won't stand for that. Yeah, that is egregious. But what do you think can be done about it? Bring awareness, teach people, get informed, take part in your local governments. The same applies to the flat earth locker. It's just about learning to deal with the mind control and being patient and compassionate enough to help people. There is, for instance, zero financial incentive to be a flat earther. We still do it. In fact, there is a stigma to the misrepresentations and censorship, so that leaves a lot of flat earthers in the closet, so to speak. I think the same is true for conservatism to a degree in today's political climate, although that is shifting. But I like the work you're doing, Lucker. Someone needs to inform the public, since an uninformed public is easily manipulated. So most of what we do is just teach logic, to see through manipulations and how to correctly use the scientific method so scientism doesn't fool them. Most people do not want to face the evidence that contradicts their beliefs, and often it requires something other than the evidence to even begin to consider the evidence and the worldview that they grew up with being wrong. In essence, we're not trying to win anything. The victory to us was years ago. It's become more of a therapy session and us learning to be better teachers while teaching them logic and scientific principles, going over the validated mechanics of our world as we clear up misconceptions, beliefs, and fallacious reasoning. It can become tedious, but then we tell people just take a break. Not everyone can be helped. As research for this show, I watched a bit of the live stream from you guys. The patience you guys show is pretty astounding. I know I could not do that, but it sure is entertaining to listen to. But are there many flat earthers in the world? Yes, there are millions who identify as such, but since many don't want the stigma associated with it, they might know other flat earthers and not know that they are flat earthers. Granted, many flat earthers just believe real flat earthers and do not have enough evidence to argue against a quote believer. I oftentimes call them faith earthers, since a real flat earther is a realist who does not have a replacement cosmology, since falsification is independent of replacement. The faith earthers generally start to imagine up a new cosmology and then get laughed at for the errors. This ridicule causes some of them to turn back, since they only had faith as the basis. It is why we tell people to test it for themselves, to build up a foundation in knowledge and not just belief. Interesting. So how would I go and test that? Good question, Lucker. There are many ways. First, we need to get the numbers from the globe claims. Radius of the globe, 3,959 miles, which would necessitate a drop over distance of 1.22 miles times the square root of the observer's height and feet. In other words, the horizon on a ball would appear a set distance away. 
This is how they assumed it was a ball, from assuming the horizon was the edge of a ball and the limitation of how far you could see with the human eye as a consequence. Now, when the globe was conceived from looking at the optical apparent horizon, they assumed it was a physical geometric position. Today, we can prove them wrong using optics of different sizes. Get a small aperture camera and the horizon appears closer, making things appear to disappear bottom up over a flat surface. Get a big aperture camera and it appears further since you can zoom in and see things that appear to be hidden behind the curve until you zoomed in and saw that it was just an angular size and not curve. So is this imagined physical ball getting bigger or smaller depending on the optics we're looking through or is the horizon purely optical? And that is the crucial component of the evidence most globe believers refuse to look at. It takes serious hand-holding to get them to consider the implications of this. They like to just clutch the word refraction, thinking that all light is bending around the globe to make it appear flat all the way up to the horizon. Problem with that, refraction is not a magic word. It's well understood today. We understand different wavelengths refract at different rates, and so we can quantify the refraction between two wavelengths or more by how much they separate, or optical dispersion. It is how we have rainbows, Lucker. So what does that mean exactly? If the Earth is a ball and the light is all being bent around the globe, we would see evidence of this optical dispersion. And there is none? That is correct, Lucker. It's how refraction works with different wavelengths, and it falsifies yet again the claims of the globe believers. First we falsified the geometric horizon, then we falsified their ad hoc excuse for why they could no longer find the geometric horizon. It's the final nail in the coffin of the globe religion. Although there are so many nails that they have become a solid boundary on the coffin lid. So, of course, countless other things are related to this. So we could get into this for hours, Lucker. But I, I will leave that to your audience to experience on the 24-7 Flat Earth Discord. Well, that is shocking. And you will see me there listening in, trying to understand this whole subject. So what is next for Flat Earth? Uh, like I said, it's just spread the information. We work entirely on volunteer basis. We ask for no money or compensation. It's pure civic service. The Discord is open 24-7. We welcome anyone and ev everyone for a healthy conversation. We prefer people with some educational background, but we don't mind teaching everyone. People just need to read hashtag welcome to familiarize themselves with our rules. We get a lot of people spamming things and our live stream is moderated. It's where we like to keep things on point and logical, where we discuss the evidence or arguments. So obfuscation or manipulative tactics get addressed, not ignored, and so lose their power. Being so public, are you not worried about the people behind this globe idea coming after you guys? Not very much, Slucker. We are decentralized and share all our information for free. It is very hard to stop such a movement. There is no leader to take out. All they can do as long as we maintain this neutral stance is attempting to misrepresent us and that does not seem to be working. If anything, it adds more people who believe and we have to correct. Once you know flat, there's no going back. Truth fears no scrutiny, so ask yourself why the globe believers are so scared of us. Well, we welcome them. Yeah, that is strange. Well, I hope you continue what you are doing I don't see a problem with asking people to re-examine their beliefs and to teach logic to the public. I think that is admirable. So thank you for coming in and having this conversation with me. Thank you, Lucker, for giving me this opportunity. I recommend you speak to Indio or Quantum Eraser or the other mods on the server. Each has a specific skill set and details that I highly recommend. I don't want to butcher their pres presentation, so I, I barely cover the subject. Thank you. I will consider that. This has been Lucker Larson and Drace AI, with Litter or Z as it's now called, on 24-7 Flat Earth Discord. Join me next week as we dive even deeper into this massive corruption and diabolical deception that is being perpetrated on all of humanity. Stay tuned, stay based. Until next time. <laughs>